Joe Hill's song, John Golden and the Lawrence Strike, concerns the strike in the textile mills of Lawrence, Massachusetts in 1912, sometimes known as the Bread and Roses Strike. The song, as Archie Green says in his notes in the Big Red Songbook, measures out the hostility between the AFL and the IWW. John Golden was the head of the craft union, the Textile Workers Union. In Rebel Voices, edited by Joyce Cornblow, we read that Golden had incurred the wrath of the Wobblies by testifying against the IWW in congressional hearings on the Lawrence strike. Golden had denounced the strike as revolutionary and anarchistic and had attempted to wrest control away from the IWW. Mr. Wood, mentioned in the song, was the president of the American Woolen Mills in Lawrence at that time. Here's John Golden and the Lawrence Strike. In Lawrence when the starving masses struck for more to eat And wooden-headed wood tried the strikers to defeat to Sammy Gonzo's road and asked him what he thought and this is just the answer that the mailman brought a little talk a little talk to golden makes it right all right he'll settle any strife if there's coin enough inside just take him out to dine and everything is fine a little talk the golden makes it right all right the preacher's cops and money kings were working hand in hand the boys in blue with stars and stripes were sent by uncle sam still things were looking blue Cause every striker knew Weaving cloth with bayonets is hard to do John Golden had with Mr. Wood a private interview He told him how to bust up the I-double-double-U He came out in a while for the golden smile He said I've got all labor leaders skinned a mile John Golden pulled a bogus strike With all his pinks and stools He thought the rest would follow like A bunch of crazy fools But to his great surprise the foreigners were wise In one big solid union They were organized Well, that's one time The golden didn't make it right or right In spite of all his schemes The strikers won the fight When all the workers stand United hand in hand The world with all its wealth Will be at their 